I bought the Instagram dryer. I'm Cosmo Dad. I'm a hairstylist and educator, and I love taking the scientific approach to hair, uh, whether that be chemicals, techniques, or the tools that we use. And today, this is the Lifen Swift hair dryer. Every time I scroll my Instagram feed, this thing pops up, and they really want to make you feel like it's the, the best dryer you've ever used. And you know what? It might be. I've done some other videos on uh, testing dryers, and I want to put this thing through its paces. I have noticed that there's been like a technology shift with dryers, and that the smaller, more compact, quieter dryers, there seems to be some sort of a new motor technology, and everybody is, is shifting to that. It started with the Dyson, and now there's a bunch of brands that have smaller, lighter, more compact, quieter dryers. From my previous video, the, the one dryer that I really liked was the Chi Lava Pro, and I'm going to be comparing them. At some point, I'm going to run the Dyson through its paces too, but today we're doing the Dyson clone, the Life in Swift. So a good dryer is going to emit negative ions so that it dries the hair with less damage more quickly. And we want to make sure that the ions are emitted with the cold air setting as well as the hot air setting. We also want a quiet dryer, something below 80 decibels if we can, that's going to help prevent hearing damage. We want something that's going to get reasonably hot, hopefully above 200 degrees, but not above 250. Not only how hot does it get, but how cold does the cool shot get? Do the heat coils turn all the way off so you can get a nice efficient cool shot to set the shape of the hair? We want to measure the weight to, to see if, if you can hold this thing up for long periods of time. And finally, wind speed. How much power can this thing actually put out? So this dryer goes for about $200. Not cheap. Needless to say, I've got pretty high expectations. My first impressions are that it feels heavy. Maybe it's just the box that's heavy. Oh, man. Packaging seems nice. Uh, much like the Dyson or the Chi, this does look like it has magnetic attachments. Comes with a user manual. The packaging is really nice. Nozzles, got a concentrator nozzle. Got an additional concentrator nozzle with like some little vents on the side, which um, don't seem to do anything, but it is a narrower nozzle. So this one is nice and wide. You can be able to take larger sections of hair, but this one is nice and thin, which means it's gonna concentrate the air more and get the hair smoother. And it comes with a diffuser. The Chi Lava Pro diffuser didn't seem to slow the air down at all. And this one has like, little mesh on the inside and isn't completely see-through. It actually looks like this might be an effective diffuser. Let's check the weight. Six hundred and eighty six grams. So a hundred grams heavier than the Chi Lava Pro. I think comparable in weight to a Dyson, but that'll have to be a future video. It's not bad looking. This is magnetic. So air goes in here, comes out here. I actually like the little rubber uh, handle for bundling the cord. That's nice. Cord's a little short. So the cord is probably about six feet long. That is an extremely short cord for a blow dryer. Now being a salon professional, uh, this was not advertised as a professional dryer. I'm not expecting professional performance out of it necessarily, but if I were inclined to try to use this in, this in the salon, a six foot cord would be an absolute deal breaker. In some bathrooms, that's not enough to get from the outlet to in front of the mirror. Magnetic attachments do feel pretty solid. All right, this is on or off. So it's got like a medium and a high or a low and a high. And then as you push this button, the ring changes color and you have a medium and high heat as well.
Let's do our first sound test. Right now, the ambient noise in this room, 28 decibels, falling leaves. Only two settings, setting one, setting two. I'm about this far away from my meter. I'm getting it right at 80 decibels. If I get right next to it, like you might, um, I got 90 decibels. Let's see if it gets any louder if I throw a nozzle on. Not altogether unpleasant, but right around um, 80 decibels on average, 90 if it's up close to your ear. But this distance from like from here to here, about 80 decibels. This is my anemometer, measures wind speed. Let's see what we have without a nozzle and then with a nozzle. Right up close to it, 34.76 miles an hour. Let's throw on a nozzle, see if we can get any more speed out of that. Interestingly, 29.9 miles an hour with what I assumed would be the strongest concentrator nozzle. No nozzle at all, get the most wind output, drops it down by about five miles an hour once I put a nozzle on. Let's see how much the diffuser slows it down. Now this was on high, which you should usually use your diffusers on medium to low speed. And it slowed it down to six miles an hour. That's really, that's really good. This might be a worthy diffuser. I wouldn't say I'm unimpressed so far. Let's test our ionic output. First with the cold air and then with the hot air. No measurable ionic output with the cold air. So not getting any reading with my air ion meter, um, hot, medium, or cold, that's gonna be a deal breaker once again for a professional dryer. It's just got a powerful motor. Um, I can feel it gets hot, we're about to measure temperature. So now I'm gonna measure our temperature. The way I like to do this, I'm just gonna lay this down, blow hot air onto a non-reflective surface and measure the temperature of that surface. Let's just go for broke and try high. Maximum output of 148.8, so we'll say 149 degrees Fahrenheit. Not impressed. That's the highest heat that this can get to. Once again, underperforming at just under 150 degrees Fahrenheit. Not impressed. Mostly, this has a super high air output. Uh, probably one of the highest ones I've ever tested, but not the hottest, no negative ion output. Let's test the cool shot temperature. 82 degree cool shot, that's really nice. I can feel, it feels noticeably cool. So I'm gonna put my stats up on either side of the Life in Swift compared to the Chi Lava Pro, which is the current dryer that I use. And you can see that the only category that this has an upper edge in is wind speed and oddly wind speed without the concentrator nozzle. If you are using a 10 year old or five year old hair dryer that is loud, heavy, barely seems to get the job done, then this dryer is definitely going to seem faster and better than your old style dryers. I'm curious how long it will last and the fact that it's not ionic, uh, which means that your going to be drying your hair for longer than you should anyway. An even slightly lower power dryer that puts out a full negative ion output may get your hair drier faster than this and with less damage. Is it worth $200? I wish I could say yes, but no, no. On top of that, the short cord, that's going to be a deal breaker. Leave a comment, tell me what you think. Have you tried this dryer? Would you try this dryer? What other dryers would you like to see me test? <laughs> Thanks for joining me. Stay curious about your hair and I'll see you soon.